What's up? I want to give a shout out to Anthony Watson. Um, he asked the question in my Reggie Jackson video. He said, how come creepy Jason Whitlock, old Jason Whitlock, won't address Reggie Jackson video? And I'm going to address it. I think that's a great question. Why he won't? Because he's a shuffler. Why he won't? Because he can't refute what Reggie Jackson said. You know, when Kareem Abdul-Jabbar went after Kyrie Irving, it was like justifiable for, because they love it when older black men shuffle and say the stuff that the agenda is. It's like passing the collection plate in church. But when they don't budge and they speak truths, they go ghostly silent. See, Jason Whitlock is not a credible writer, and he's an anti of his own skin and tone. Yeah, I said it. Because if he wasn't, he would be more dignified how he spoke out of line about Angel Reese. Why he won't address Reggie Jackson? Because Reggie Jackson is the reason why he's even writing. Jason Whitlock from Kansas City. Jason Whitlock grew up on Reggie Jackson. Jason Whitlock knows best. But he hopes that that storm passes over. He hoping that he don't have to explain why his shuffling has been so in extinct that he's made a living at shuffling. You can't explain away a millionaire African-American who went through Jim Crowism, who went through the hardship and the pain and the heartache. You can't explain it away. So you can go back 60 years ago with Reggie Jackson. We go back 60 years ago, 18 years old, 64, and then we fast forward onwardly. But if we go back, back to 57 when Reggie was 11, let's do a timeline because I'm doing this all off the top of this. I'm not even on no charts. I'm not Wikipedia nothing. I'm just calculating his age of 78. Let's go back to when he was 11, 10, 11, 12 years old. Emmett Till. Separate water fountains, colored movie theaters, colored bathrooms, you know, and what he grew up with, what Jason Whitlock refuses to acknowledge in America with three Ks, where he chooses to tell people lies, all these sellouts who choose to lie. They can't say nothing to Reggie Jackson. Because Reggie Jackson is more credible than any politician that they can encounter who claims to be president. Can I get an amen on that? Can Barack Obama hold credibility to Reggie Jackson? Can Bill Clinton hold credibility to Reggie Jackson? Can Bush Jr. hold credibility to Reggie Jackson? You know about Trump and Biden, who the same age as Reggie. Same world time, but different situations. See, the worst thing about when people like DeSantis and Abbott and that racist trash in Virginia and sell us like Clarence Thomas, Supreme Court, and all them racist people in Hollywood and government, when they try to downplay it and play it off like it didn't happen. You know, when they try to hate on the descendants of slavery or the descendants of the reparations in Tulsa, Oklahoma, who should have gotten compensated for that massacre in 1920, and they didn't. But you have a guy who is almost 80 in Reggie Jackson who can tell you American history. He will tell you what Jerry Jones won't admit about staying outside at Arkansas school. See, and see, for, for tap dancers like Jason Whitlock and Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp, who falls in that class too, yeah, I said it, because you don't have nobody dignified on your show, Clip Shay Shay. And I don't care about no numbers. I'm not tripping on that about clicks and no view. I want to talk about how you still chain mentally that you can't go there. Chris Bursard went there briefly, but they ain't plantation. They gonna let you tell the truth. They have Big Poppy come over who look like us, Dominican brother, who will tap and shuffle out of there. Alex Rodriguez, who is us, but again, got a pass because they come from another higher place. This is what sits there with Reggie Jackson. Of course, Barry Bonds, Ken Griffith Jr. sat there with Reggie too. And you know what Barry Bonds went through. But they don't want to hear your black man's story in America.
with three Ks. They don't want to hear it. They want it to be whitewashed and they want it to be printed as a certain way. That's why Jason Whitlock got a platform because the plantation allows him to write and whitewash facts. That's what they want. It's called, in English, it's two ways. And I might do a poem about it. Black Alzheimer's, white Alzheimer's. Black Alzheimer's is we see things, but they tell us we're not seeing things, so we're delusional. That's what they tell us. And then white Alzheimer's is they know it's there, but they deny it's there. See how I did that? You ain't got to be old, decrepit, and dependent on the state or anybody to have that mental illness, to be subjective to that. Jason Whitlock is part of the mental illness because he would rather suffer and shuffle and be bogus and lie than to tell the truth. That's why he won't touch what Reggie Jackson said. That's why none of them black conservatives will really touch what Reggie Jackson said because they know in the heart of hearts it's the truth. So when they sit here and shuffle for Donald Trump or shuffle for the Republican Party, they know it's the truth. Just like the ones who shuffle for the Democratic Party, they know it's telling the truth. And I don't care if you're a sports broadcaster, analyst, or what have you, you know good and well what Reggie Jackson said. If you of a certain age, you know good and well what Reggie Jackson said. Michael Jeffrey Jordan from South, from the Carolinas, he grew up there, he played ball there. He was called names too. He just don't tell the truth. LeBron James, who, didn't, who used to occasionally be such semi uh Halfway woke, don't tell the truth. None of them tell the truth. Because they still call all kinds of apes and all kinds of names by these racist red, red names of people being in these stands. Russell Westbrook, they go through it all the time. White reporters have been putting it out there. They don't tell the truth. I told you, black all timers, white all timers. It's all connected. And Jason Whitlock knows there's a billion dollar business to lie. Just like Nick Wright, just like J.J. Reddick. They're not going to tell the truth. When Jimmy the Greek told you how they really view with the field hands and he got fired back in 88, and that was before political correctness took over. But you know that Jason Whitlock knows better, but he has to shuffle and lie. He will never address Reggie Jackson because he's not a man enough to. To step and respond to a man, you got to be a man. Just like a woman's got to step to a woman to be a woman. You're not going to have somebody who's dignified try to come to you when you can tell the truth. See, frauds like Oprah Winfrey would never interview somebody like Etta James who would tell you what it was. The real. That's why Jason Whitlock ain't man enough to talk about Reggie Jackson. Because as John Amos said, and let's do it again, you got to have hind parts to get hind parts. And if you ain't got no hind part, you just a sore, soft backside. Please hit like, subscribe, work on thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shit. If you feel like I'm out.